All right, what is up? It's your boy, John and Shreve. I'd be prone to tell like it is. Welcome back to another episode of mobility. Should be mobility with me, whatever. Anyway, let's talk about shoulder mobility. So these are some exercises you can do before you work out and after you work out. So these aren't movements I would say to avoid doing around your workout time. These are things I would say do definitely before and after because we want to keep those shoulder caps open and loose and mobile because a lot of you guys probably can't touch their backs like so forth or reaching back behind ourselves like this. I know I definitely couldn't about a few months ago. It's bigger arms, more muscles, lack of stretching, those things can all add up to very unhealthy shoulders. Again, remember a healthy shoulder or a healthy joint is one that can run through its full range of motion. So I'll give you three really easy ones you can do at home when you wake up. All you need is resistance band, broomstick, and yourself. So first one I like to do is shoulder cars, circular articular rotations. So what you want to do is you've probably seen this on the side of a wall, but somebody's saying I'm by the wall and basically doing a bunch of circles. The closer to the wall you get, the more mobility your shoulder has. The further away from the wall you are, the less mobility you have, obviously. So we're not doing this with the wall we can do it by ourselves standing free. What you want to do is stand nice and straight, nice anatomical position, athletic position, right? Just like this. And then you want to take your hand, we're going to have it open up like this. We're going to push away from our body. So we don't want to just move our hand away. I want to push my hand away from the body, pushing it away, opening up. Once we get to right beside our ears, we're going to internally rotate that thumb and then we're going to continue to push it back. Now what we want to do is we want to avoid coming up and then doing a bunch of this. We want to keep ourselves completely straight here. So when we're pushing our body away, our hand away, once we get to the top and internally rotate, we can feel that shoulder socket moving and then continuing to push away from the body and then right through and then hot thumb's going to come out the same position it was when we started. So again, from here, keeping ourselves nice and straight, pushing your hand away from yourself, up, as soon as we get to above our head, you turn to rotate that thumb, continue to push that thumb away so we can really get that nice rotation in our shoulder. So up and push. And then again, wherever your mobility is, let it run that way freely. Don't try to get like this. Keep yourself as straight as you can. So when you do the other arm, same thing. Up, push away. I can feel tight here. And we want to make sure that arm stays straight. So we don't want our arm doing this stuff on the way back. We want to make sure that our hand stays straight. So mobility here, straight for me is here, and I will continue to roll back and keep her going. So again, up, right? I'm good here. When I internally rotate, I can see my elbow trying to move a little bit or bend. I want to keep it straight, pushing away, push that thumb back still and rotate and come back through. You can do three sets of that, five rotations each, then move on to the next one. These are pretty easy, pretty fair. What we want to do is, if you got a broomstick, broomstick, broom handle, whatever it is, right? Find yourself something long enough. We're going to do overhead passes. Basically from here, we're just going back and forth over. Now with this same thing, I want to make sure that we find something that's long enough so that when we're in that overhead position, we don't feel like our chest is going to rip out of our socket, right? So make sure you give yourself some wide enough. Don't worry about how long it is. Your mobility will eventually get better and better so we can eventually get in closer and closer. Again, don't try and force it where you're uncomfortable when you're trying to injure your chest. So what we're going to do is, same rules as the cars. I want to push the broomstick or stick, whatever you have, away from your body, over, pushing it away. Once you get to the top, I want to push it away, still pushing back and away and keeping those hands straight on the way back and then pulling it back over, same thing, right? So from the side, I'm pushing that weight away, going up, pushing it away, pushing it away, over above, pushing it away, pushing it away, pushing it away, pushing it away, and then back to the start position, pushing it away again, pushing up, opening that shoulder up. And you can go back and forth slow and really open yourself up and keep those hands straight, right? Don't try to come over and then bend to get it down. We're not trying to do that. We want to push the weight far away from our body so we can really open that shoulder cap up and really get it warm and get blood in there. Next one. We're gonna go back to our bands, but we're gonna grab a softer band. We don't want to have you struggling trying to pull the band away. This isn't an arm workout, this is basically to open up your shoulders. So depending on your strength, obviously I can use one of these. For those who are not as strong, you can use a thinner one. Again, we don't want to have you struggling trying to pull the band away. This isn't an arm workout, this is basically to open up your shoulders. So 
shoulder openers. Again, you wanna grab your resistance band at a place where you're comfortable. Again, once you do these more often, you're gonna find your mobility in your shoulder getting better and better. Again, you have to keep doing these things often. You can't just do it once a week and expect the results. Just like everything else, progressive overload. So from here, I'm gonna get myself in that overhead position where I'm back. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna separate this thing on the way down and then on the way up. So I wanna pull the weight away. So I wanna pull the resistance band down while I'm chopping back and then pulling it up. Open. And that's it. You want to let, let your shoulders come up. You want to pull it right down and open yourself up. From the side, from the starting position, going to the overhead. And then just like almost like a snatch position, you want to pull that weight down and pull up. Pull it down and pull up. We're really trying to open up that shoulder cap. Your scapula is really getting the work. Shoulder depression. When you get to the top, then that letting those lats pull down and separate, letting the shoulders open up and come up and down. You can do those again. You can do about you know three sets. Take your time, about five reps. It doesn't take much at all. You just really want to loosen the shoulder up. You know, think about your shoulders being like a ball, a ball bearing. It's in that socket giving us that full circular motion. Make sure that inside that socket and the muscles around, they're warmed up and moving. So when you're actually benching, doing any kind of exercise upper body wise, this is already warmed up and ready to go and primed. So those are three exercises you guys can do. You do them before you do your workout, you do them after. You can literally do these ones before every single workout and after every single workout and it wouldn't be overdoing it whatsoever. The very passive movements you can do. So don't worry about really being too aggressive with them at all. Make sure you're really focusing on just opening the shoulder up. This isn't a workout, so don't try and grab a weight that's too heavy and try and jam it down. That's not the point. The point is just to open your shoulder up. All right, guys, that is it for mobility today, guys. I'm gonna keep doing a lot more. There's so much more for mobility that I even show you guys today that I want to share to you guys. So make sure you guys tune in every week. I'm gonna put out more and more stuff for you guys to optimize your mobility, training, nutrition, and so forth, guys. So if you enjoyed the video, which I know you did, make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video. You know I'm gonna promote that tell like it is transparent, vulnerable truth. I always mix that one up. It's always mixed, always. And for coaching guys, johnnyshreve.net. If you wanna know what my coach is all about, you can book a phone consult, 15, 30 minutes. At another consult, if you wanna go with coaching, whether it's a one-time plan or recurring coaching, I'll deduct the phone consult off any package that you pick. Make sure you guys use my code, johnny15, for the Power 13 book, 50% off, guys. The recipes of that book are absolutely amazing. Get a great discount, johnny15. Also, guys, follow me on Instagram at underscore johnny underscore. Send me some clips of you guys training. I'll repost it. I love the feedback I get from you guys. It keeps me a better coach. Anyway, guys, you know how it is. Iron Sharp is Iron. Progressive overload your life. In the meantime, keep dream chasing. Peace.